we're doing a hygiene episode here. Well, this is cheap shampoo. We'll give him a little bath. The wife got me paranoid with the camera in my face, but it's power. No filters. I got a couple different shampoos I use. Basically, I have a very itchy scalp. And so I had a what cosmetologist tell me about this right here. It's only like eight bucks. You can get it like any convenience store, Target, uh, I'll be going at the ATV right down the street. It's kind of for psoriasis, but it's just for any type of like, itchy scalp and stuff. Uh, it smells terrible, but apparently it's really good. It's super cheap for the good quality shampoo. This is one of the wife got me. Basically, it's got something called like biochine and chlorine, and I believe it's just good for hair growth and healthy hair. So it's what keeps my hair super healthy. And then a body wash. Just something, you know, a little, little more natural. And then whenever I want to do some face wash, um, this is one thing that I use currently um, to help with the exfoliation of my face. It's just a little brush you can like turn up. And as you can probably guess again, this is uh, the wife's recommendation for me and it's done well. And it just keeps your, uh, keeps your skin clean, kind of exfoliates you a little better. And then we use something called Azo Skin Health. And this is just my usual routine when I'm in the shower. You know, I don't really shampoo very often. Usually it's a twice a week type of thing, maybe three times a week. But other than that, don't like to shampoo too much because you want to keep some natural oils in your hair. I just want that by plenty of, you know, different hairdressers. So, but right now we're going to focus on this little guy. So we're going to get him bathed up and ready for the day. So we're going to continue on with uh, my skincare routine and this isn't really something I've done on my own but a lot of people have been asking for it and I guess we're just going to provide some different content for y'all. So basically after I wake up in the morning I usually head to the bathroom kind of splash some cold water on my face and get into my morning skincare routine with this nice cool blue and just kind of put it, line it across your face, put a little here, rub it on my neck. And this is always the first thing you do. And then you have to wait for this to kind of dry off a little bit because it does moisturize your face a lot before you apply whatever's next. Try to, you know, keep those necklines from being too old too fast. Um, basically what this is, well this is just a serum. Um, basically it's, you know, different for everybody but this is what Sephora recommended for me and I've just been kind of using it since. Uh, it's been doing well and everyone's skin type is different. There's actually different ways to test your skin type and see what's kind of best for you, but this is just what works for me. And it's what I apply first, like I said, and you kind of just like, you can like fan off your face, let it dry a little bit. It really doesn't take too long. It's already pretty dry for me. And then I just lead it usually right into um, the next step, which is a firming collagen cream. So, so this is a firming collagen cream. It's a, it's a moisturizer and it's a pretty thick moisturizer. Usually when I um, grab this, I really don't take too much, just kind of like one little fingerful. And then I always just, I just pull my hair back because I have extra hair and I just kind of dab it around my face. Try my neck and then I just kind of do circular motions. Gotta get the whole forehead. A lot of space. You always want to like, this is just a trick I learned, you always want to like, push outwards towards the edge of your face and not inwards because you're supposed to like it's like to help reduce the creases and you're not supposed to use too much pressure but I always end up using too much anyway so that's good there this is what I do at the end of the night with the with the serum and the collagen cream those are the things I do at night time as well on the same process but if I'm going out during the day I always make sure to put some sunscreen on and this is just uh, just the one that I have um, any facial sunscreen will work, but I always put like a SPF 30 on and this is just to protect yourself from the light because sunlight if you haven't noticed like People who live in like Florida or Las Vegas are really really warm dry areas. It's a lot easier to crease up and Age quicker and the sunscreen is just the best way to help prevent that type of process even if it's not Outrageously hot and sunny. It's just really important to do that. Um, I've been told that by so many different um, professionals about how important sunscreen really is and once again I just kind of 
I just gotta dab around because this is uh, extra, extra thick and I just mostly keep it on my face. Face, back, neck. And you gotta really move it in, otherwise it's gonna turn my face white, which it still does anyways, but it goes away. I choose to only wash my face about once a day, but when I wake up, I splash some cold water on it um, just to kind of help wake myself up and get my face a little damp before I apply everything. And this whole process really doesn't take too long once you get it down. And then once I'm done with all this, I kind of lean into my hair routine. When I used to have longer hair, I just kind of left it messy and never really messed with my hair too much. But ever since I kind of got a new haircut and hairstyle, I've kind of been forced to change up my routine a little bit. And I basically choose to use between one or two products. If I just get out of the shower, I usually use this like extra clean gel, which just kind of keeps my hair a little wetter. Um, it it kind of like sticks it into place. But if I'm, you know, been, a, been up for a while and I don't want to, you know, take a shower and do all that, I use a, a mousse, which is this product right here. And basically it's just something as simple as just, you just shake it up a little bit. And you really don't need too much of this either. And then usually, um, before I go out, I, I like to choose between two different colognes that I use. Um, they are both YSL actually. I've been actually really enjoying the YSL colognes. I got two different styles right here. Recently, I've been going with uh, with this one. It kind of I like to switch it up day by day. I usually don't like to use the same one too many times, but usually just spray it on each wrist, rub them together. Dab them here, and then just kind of dab them down my shirt a little bit. And then that's usually pretty solid on the cologne. And the skincare routine. So overall, that's pretty much uh, how I do with that. And then some other daily little things I use. Gamers specifically are very deficient on vitamin D. And I think it's honestly a deficiency that most people have gamer or not. It's one of the most common deficiencies if you want to look into some of the things about that. It, I just take a, you know, a, a natural 5,000 IU is what it is, and this is a daily vitamin uh, D pill you can get recommended by you know a doctor or whoever it is but this is just something I found online um, I do like to take these daily I have noticed an increase in just overall energy throughout the day and I've only been doing it for about two weeks so um, pretty nice and then other than that I mean this is one thing that's just very small but it's a tongue scraper it helps with uh, bad breath I think a majority I think it was like 90 percent of bad breath I don't want, don't quote me on that I could be completely wrong but almost all the bad breath that you have relies on your tongue so it's just a way to help your help increase your your stench if you have a little bit, and then uh, obviously just the, the healthy healthy teeth and gums by brushing twice a day. So.